New at 11, the State Fair estimates 30,750 people packed Chevy Court for the rapper Nas tonight, one of the five largest shows ever at that stage. Nas was pinch hitting for Snoop Dogg, who canceled his show yesterday. Before Nas took the stage tonight, Makai Bailey, whose stage name is Truth Speaker, performed. He's from Central New York, and one of his songs has a special cause. He wrote it for a Syracuse two-year-old who is in need of a bone marrow transplant. Baby King was up on stage tonight. He has a rare disease called CD40. Back in July, a bone marrow drive was held in his honor. It drew more than 100 donors, but so far, no match. At the concert tonight, there was a booth set up so that potential donors could sign up. There will also be another bone marrow drive coming in September at the SU LSU football game. CBS 5 Samantha German is with the live eye at the fairgrounds tonight to bring us up to speed on the Nas concert. Michael Nas performed for a little over an hour tonight, and with his last-minute performance, there was no huge production. But he proved tonight, just like he says in one of his hit songs, that all he needs is one mic. There's no doubt Nas fans were in a New York state of mind tonight. People poured into Chevy Court waiting for the hip-hop legend to take the stage. Some were even here as early as 10.30 this morning. We're pretty excited, you know, we really love Nas. He's one of our favorites. He's one of the best ever, so it's cool that he's coming here for free. And some diehard fans may have even let their excitement get the better of them. I've been married to him for 18 years. It's a joke, but I love him. Oh, guys, do I love him. He drew a huge crowd of all ages, and many had their own favorite song that they say speaks volumes to them. The world is yours. Why is that your favorite? Just because it has a lot of meaning to it, and I really respect it. And judging from the packed crowd, it's safe to say Nas was the perfect last-minute addition for the New York State Fair. I think I would consider him one of my favorite rappers, along with Ferris One, but, you know, he's an old-school rapper. I like his lyrics. I like his message. So I'm excited to see him in person for the first time. And as you just heard, Nas fans were excited all day long today, so it is safe to say that he was a great choice and fill-in for Snoop Dogg tonight. For now, reporting live from the State Fairgrounds, I'm Samantha German.